Back here is a separate hex face that you can use to twist. Oh, goodness. If you twist really hard. But that makes a huge difference. It's almost like they're engineers. Those are both fed in enough. Oh, goodness. All right. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Sorry for the delay. We have installed the timing tools, which are these. They just need to be snug, nothing fancy. Let's go to 10. The other thing I did is I set up a table over here to try and speed up the endless back and forth. The next instruction is, for the official instructions, oil your brand new shiny, not shiny, enormous bolts for the um, Vanos timing camshaft combo. Ta-da! By the way, may I interest you in some 10 weight 60 noir for men. Men's collection. And they do recommend you apply your noir for men's collection to the exhaust side first. Grease the head. In fact, one of the documents, oh, and they're counterclockwise. One of the documents goes as far as to tell you, be very sure to use copper grease on the back. I have got my Loctite copper that I rubbed on and rubbed all the loose mess off of to make sure that it has the anti-seize properties because it's getting screwed on there in a way that is not cool. And this is a brand new bolt. Oop. Don't let that grip on some of the other places. All right, and I'm just gonna get them in out of the way before we move on. This is a funny thing. You can't get stick on latex gloves off your hands when they're oiled, unless you do that. 18 it is. Now that they're threaded by hand, I'm just going to get them in. You ready? First, 10 Newton meters. They go outside first. So that was 10, now it was 20. And then comes. Now comes the real fun. Here comes the timing part. Well, excuse me. Here comes the part where you stretch the bolt that attaches the exhaust vanos side to the camshaft. And stretching this bolt 
I've already torqued it to 80 Newton meters. I think I caught that on video. Now I've got to move this way around to 200 degrees. I'm just going to do it here at full scale, and then I'll point you at the meter because it is kind of a fascinating process to a novice like me. And the reason for the jacket here is to protect the paint from anything that might decide to pop off or whatever. And this, even with all this extension, is not fun. And this bolt is installed with threaded threads oiled. Can you imagine if this was not done that way? No, nope, that stays there. I still have 90 degrees to go. This is unreal. Twenty degrees. Ooh, I landed on it. One. And then, because BMW thinks it's funny, you release it and wind it back to 10. <sighs> Seriously? That's it. After all that, you set it back to 10 and call it a day. It's barely on at all at that point. Wow. But we got one done. Now I'm going to spin the camera around so you can see it from the terrible side. First to 10. This does not click, so don't count on sound. That's 10. And then to 20. That's 20. Then 80, which is the majority of what this beam torque wrench supports. 80. Zero. Two hundred degrees starting now. Backwards to one sixty. And 60 is about top. One sixty. Wow. I'm going to reread some instructions. I'll be right back. Glad I read right the instructions. Having done the calibration and the stretching once, not at top dead center, you now stretch it at top dead center back to uh, 10. Oh, no. First, I need to rotate with 
tool in hand. Tools in hand, top dead center achieved. Now we retorque it again.